Hi, I'm Iris. Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, where, uh, I think I stumbled my way into a Yiga clan cave, so we're kind of just, like, in here. Yeah, there... There's things going on. I need to recall this. I... Oh boy, oh boy. Um... Can I... Oh god, oh, oh, oh boy. Smack, smack, oh wait, wrong smack, wrong smacker. Master Sword. <laughs> Bump. Rusty shield, but I can't carry anything else. I'm just gonna drop it because I don't wanna. Oh. Yeah, this is farther away from where I entered. There is no way I'm gonna have my be able to have my Yiga clan armor on in here. That sucks. I want to ascend to right here. Let me ascend. Thank you. Womp. Fire breath Lysol blade. Oh, thank you. I see a... This definitely is gonna give me in a fight. <gasps> Ember shirt! Used in ancient rituals, this item is made of heat-absorbing cloth that produces flame in high-temperature environments. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Visitor for, from afar, should your thirst be treasure, for treasure remain unslaked, read on. I discovered the tunic of awakening in a strange land and have hidden it away. Saw my riddle to make it your own. On the Tabantha frontier, where rain, piper, and Tanagar meet, ruined pillars stand together. One of those mighty pillars opens the way to my treasure. Solve my riddle or find my treasure and earn my respect. Okay. So we gotta earn your respect. So where the hell is the bubble frog? Oh. No. Damn it. I see. We gotta put this all the way up there. Fuck. That's rude. No! Come back here! Shit, we gotta go... Oh, shit. Try again. And put it back right here. Why did I do that? This is just like Minecraft where there's just one of those random lava caves in here for no fucking reason at all. Oh, there's a room over here. Here we are. Hey. Cool. That means we did this cave. There's a cave over here. Is it? No, it's just a little thing. Just a little mining spot. That was not lucky. <laughs> so I thought I th saw them have a quest dialogue option? Hmm. Hey, 
Hey. What's up? Equipment named after a divine beast. What a red hot treasure. Since the lava cooled, I always wondered if someone might find him. Not only did you do it, you found treasure to boot. You're Yunubo's partner, all right. Wish I could go back in time and tell my spraying yourself that the Lizard Brothers really do exist. I feel a real sense of fulfillment hearing this. Thanks for sharing the good news. The Lizard Lakes don't seem like a dangerous place. Maybe I misunderstood when I was told not to go near them. Even if I can't do much, I'll search this area some more to get us answers about Princess Zelda. Oh, cool. I... Don't even know anything, but cool. I forget if these are indestructible or not. Yeah. Oh yeah, this guy is- Oh, what should I do? Ah, I'll never get to Gorondia like this. Did you find Gorondia? Oh, hey, it's you! Ah, uh, Gorondia? Gorondia who? Never heard of him. Never heard that Gorondia is actually a place where Gorons used to live. Definitely never heard that and I'm looking for it either. No way would I be looking for a place that has weird vehicles and exciting treasures. And I most certainly didn't find minecart tracks that probably lead to this legendary place I know nothing about. And the tracks definitely don't have something wrong with them that's keeping me from looking for the place. Nope. Please don't sneak up on me. For a second, I thought my big secret was out. I'm gonna check out the minecart tracks. Don't follow me. The ancient Cindy Grandia? Okay, so that's a quest we have collected. We're just wandering around trying to grab quests from people. Oh, I should hang out in the hot springs for a second. That Unobo. If not for this pesky back of mine, I'd be pitching in left and right. Despite that, that Unobo, he used to always pester me. Boss this and boss that. Now look at him, a sage. He's always been a simple fellow, so you can't always count him for everything. When there's a job needs doing, she'll see that it gets done. If you're into a wall, then there's no better time to holler for him. Hell yeah. Did we already do this one? Yep, okay, yeah, because my mask isn't going off. Hi. Hey, good morning. So you haven't left Goron City, eh? Those strange red rocks have vanished and the Gorons are all back to acting to normal. Finally, now I can go looking for the Simmerstone Springs, which is the whole reason I came here. Simmerstone Springs. By the looks of it, you haven't found out anything either. Guess that what makes it a secret hot spring. Only those in the know know about it, but at least the search is fun. I'm planning to start by visiting the well-known hot springs. I'll see if I can get info off the hot spring buffs there. Hmm. I suppose Goron Hot Springs is a good place to start. Maybe I'll look it up on a map later. Okay. Thank you for your knowledge of things. Here. These are them! The secret tracks! Um, where'd the cart go? Hello? Oh, there it is! Gorondia's gotta be down these tracks. But with all these big rocks having fallen on the tracks, I don't know what to do. And the cart won't move. Uh, I don't know what to do. Attach. Hello. Grandi's gotta be down these tracks. And the car will move. Ugh, the cart's ready. Huh? When did that happen? How'd you know I wanted to use it? Wait a sec. This happened last time I saw you, too. You got superpowers, don't you? That's the only way. Well, whatever. It's fixed now, so I can get going. Bye! <laughs> Gorondia, just you wait. I'm coming for ya. Where are you going? <laughs> I'll go to that side of the minecart tracks. Gorondia's gotta be over there. I can feel it. Well, uh, guess what? Uh... 
I thought it would let me use Yonobo, but I guess not. Usually, let's wah. We. Woo! I crossed the track. Everyone says it's super fun over here. If it's fun, that definitely means Gorondi is around here. Oh, hey, guy, you're still here? That was a close one. He almost overheard that I'm looking for Grandia. Oh, oh, whoa. You probably want a reward, huh? Thank you. All right, Grandia is, uh... Ooh, I can feel it. I can feel the fun. It's so close now. I definitely found Gorondia this time. A super awesome place just for me. Loaded with treasure, and I'm the only one who knows. I guess I'm gonna follow him? The ancient city Gorondia? Should I be following him? Southern Mine. Free. Not quite, but. Smacking. Oh, fuck. Hello. Ow. Master Sword. Oops. Arrow. Damn it. Cool, so more in this area. We gotta get back in range of the Korok. I'm assuming if we go up here we'll probably get something. Where is the Korok? Nice, I got two of them. Oh. Ah. Oh, it's right here. There we go. Goober. Hello. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Smack. Also harvesting this. Oh, he's down there. Can he even come back here? Oh fuck, he's climbing. <laughs> oh. He disappeared? Oh fuck, he's he respawned right there. This is fine. There we go. Dead as hell. Where? Want to mine in the tunnel. Diamond. Nice. Opal. Remember Sapphire Flint. 
Smotherwing butterfly. This rare butterfly lives in volcanic regions. Its body contains a heat-resistant liquid, which can be turned to a topical elixir that offers resistance to flames. Ooh, that's a rarer one. Garandi, huh? I heard a Goron talking about Garandia, so I tailed him here, but, uh, is, is this really Garandia? No, right? Kind of felt like I know when I was telling him. I mean, anyway, you slice it. This is minecart land. Maybe the whole rumor was a bunch of bunk to begin with. Now what do I do? I told my news agency I was chasing a huge lead just before I came here. And this isn't huge. That's it! There's minecart land, the hot springs, you know, both coast stores, whole lot of stuff to see around here. Makes you wish you had a guidebook for Goron City, huh? Maybe one written by your favorite reporter? Gonna have to update my book's title, though. How about Duma's Guide to Goron City? Yeah, that'll do. That'll do just fine. Do you have a spot to mark for me? My cart land? Oh. Travelers like us gotta keep marching forward day and night. Thank goodness it's safer out here now, so we can travel at any time of day without fear. Hmm. The fire-resistant clothes in Goron City are just too expensive. I can't afford them. My girlfriend, she's waiting a back from me at Wooden Stable. She'll be good when I come back empty-handed. Maybe I should try cheering myself up at Minecart Land. Uh, well... Look at me. I kept my girlfriend waiting, and now I'm coming back to her without the fire-resistant clothes. She's not going to be happy, but it's not my fault that it's so expensive. Uh, this has really got, really got me feeling down. I should try cheering myself up. Nice clothes, by the way. You look really... Wait a minute. That's the thing you're wearing. That's it. That's what I wanted to buy. It looks rugged and a little old-fashioned, if I'm being honest. But that's what makes it great. Now I know I have to buy clothes like that. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's cool dialogue. Oop. My boulder hammer! Um. Gonna put my Yiga climber. My Yiga club. There's the kid. Gorondians. Oh, it's you! Are you following me again? You're sure pushy. I like that. So I'll let you in on a little something. It's actually a secret to everyone. <gasps> Zelda 1 reference. <laughs> I've discovered the home of the Gorons of old. Gorondia. Guess what else? There are Gorondians there too. Gorondia is inside this cave. Deep inside there's this weird twisty spinal track. Spinal track. I bet you it's for a vehicle from Gorondian civilization. Which means the people inside are the Gorondians who made it. They were playing on a twisty spiral track and it looked like fun. Next time, I'll ask if I can play with them. There's a rock right there I can probably fuse with. I'm gonna fuse it with this broadsword. Rock. Minecart land? Minecart land. Uh... Other mine. Okay, here is a mine cart. Is this a Korok thing? I don't know. Oop. Let me grab it. Imagine if you could use a mine cart for a. Funny thing. I'm going in. Actually, was there something here? No. It looked dark. Grabbing a cart. Grabbing a cart. Oh boy, it's dark in here. Southern mine. Okay. Um. I guess they're requiring me to bring my own fan. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. 
I forget if we're supposed to invite the kid with us. I feel really bad, sorry. Where's the kid? Hey, uh, I put a minecart on the tracks. You wanna come with? I've been watching the Grandians lately. They've been inside the cave for a long time. Sometimes I can see them zooming then spiral tracks. I wanna play with them. But I'm so nervous about talking to actual real Grandians, I freeze. But... Uh, okay. Well, I'm going inside, and no one can stop me. Sorry. The children yearn for the mines. Oh, these fuckers! Hello! Oops. Customer! We got a customer here! You ready, little brothers? Here we go! From morning! Till morning. It's miles all the time. Hey, Capetta, what's your face doing? Get it together. My face? What about your face? Not in front of the customer, brothers. Less bickering, more smiling. Okay, let's take it from the top. Ready? And from morning till morning. It's miles all the time. Welcome to Minecart Land, where minecarts meet smiles. Brought to you by the one and only Hunoboko. The rules are simple. You ride a minecart down the track, popping as many targets as you can within the time limit. Octo expansion? It's back. It's back. You'll want to use arrows to pop the targets. Oh, and don't leave the cart or game's over. Pop five or more targets before the time runs out and you win. To keep things fair, you'll be riding our dear old cart. No outside carts allowed. Put the cart on the track, get in, and start smiling. And to celebrate our grand opening, your first ride is free. We'll even give you ten arrows on the house. Thank you. Cabetta, your face. You're doing it again. He's smiling. You're gonna scare away the customer. Look at me, you gotta smile. Like this! Please don't mind them. Now it's time to hop in the cart. This is a self-service kind of joint, so you'll be the one to put the cart on the tracks. Minecart land, open for business. So I believe, let me put it on the track. Um. Let's make sure, if I'm getting out arrows, I want to put a homing thing on here. So let's see. Okay, I have 39 key side balls. I can cheat with those if I need to. Are you ready to roll? All set. Then let the game keep, blah. Let the game begin. Wait a second while I get all the targets set up. Yeah, this is Lily Splatoon. Here we go! Three. Okay, here we go. Oh, fuck. No! No, 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 my bow broke! What the hell? Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, I guess that's how you get these ones. Finished? Okay. Finished! How many was that? 12? It's time to announce the results! Looks like you hit a total of 11 targets! Oh, I thought it was 12. Smile! Amazing! That makes you a winner! Oh no! I was so surprised I forgot to smile! 
Yeah, that was a smile. Here's your prize, offered up with the biggest of smiles. Thank you for the rupees. Your smile still has room to grow. But lucky for you, we've prepped a high-speed course geared towards up-and-comers. If you're interested, come talk to me and send my brother. Um, quick shot course. My game's a little different from beige. It's beige is, it's a uh, custom crafted for a slightly tougher challenge. I'll put your rapid fire shooting to the test. You in? Uh, I'm in. Why not? So, quick! Fastest response time you've got there. Good stuff. Let's speed through the rules. You hop in the car, roll down the tracks, and shoot seven targets as quick as you can. And no getting out once you're rolling. Pop all the targets in one minute and 20 seconds and you win. Okay. So keep things fair. You'll be riding our general cart. Put the mine car on the track. Get it and get going. This round's free and I'll be throwing some arrows for maximum fun. Now go hop in the cart. Don't I have it? This is five shot burst. Okay, I don't have any quick shot bows left. Um... I think I got this. You ready for some speed? Uh, let's go, I'll get the targets ready. Um, I don't think they should be giving me speed, but time to roll. Three, two, one. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Oh, okay. Seven and thirty one seconds. You've hit seven. That's game. I that was okay. <laughs> I was so stressed, I thought I had to do it in like 10 seconds. And let's hear the results! Your time for this run was... 31 seconds and 70 seconds. So fast! Fantastic! You cleared that course in the blink of an eye. I'm skilled at Splatoon. No, not really. I haven't played Splatoon in so long at this point. I feel really bad. No, we're, we'll get back into it because Side Order is like our next flight they were after I finished recording Cheese of the Kingdom. <laughs> Which at that point, uh, Side, Order, Side Order might even like come out sooner than this episode of Cheese of the Kingdom might. I don't know. Depends on how the series goes, but uh, we're working on it. <laughs> uh, hang on a second. I was so stunned. I forgot to smile for you. Here's your prize. Happy face and all. 50 rupees. Do you have a third one? You beat both my brother's courses. You're pretty incredible, you know that? Watching you handle that minecart gave me an idea for a course of my own. I'm gonna set it up. At Death Mountain! In fact, I think I'll go set it up now. Come give it a try when you can. Oh. Smiles start with carts. Alright. Um... Can I hang out around here? So I think there is a bubble frog somewhere. Do you, do, you, do you guys think there's a bubble frog in here? Or is it just a little... Wow. Maybe there's a... What happens if I send right here? How bad will it be? Um... Do I want to be up here? Oh, there's some keys. Uh, probably not. I just let myself go back down. <laughs> oh wait, there's a thing right here. 
Is that a chest? Nope. Oh, cobble crusher! Yay, I've been wanting one of those. Those are very helpful. Oh, I see. Where is Yonobo? Hello. Yep, I hear you. There's a lot of boulders in this cave. Fuck. Thank you. 40 gems. Okay. Uh, this thing is so cool, but it takes so long to get me all the way up here. So I just end up not wanting to do it. Oh, there's a Korok near. Where are you? Do you... Hello? Maybe I can ascend. What? There's a Korok somewhere in here. Ooh, monster extract. I take them all because I need to use those. I don't know if I've been on the actual path yet. Oh, there's a quest here. Uh, I'm not ready for a quest yet. Oh. Is it to cut down all the trees? I'm gonna cut down all the trees and see what happens. I'll see if the game gets mad at me for doing that. Oh, there's some puppies in here. Oh! <gasps> it is Korok something. There is some Korok going around. I cut down all the trees first. I feel so bad. I cut down all the trees in the village. Ooh. Yeah, that's kind of whack of me. Where is he? Where are you? It's in this area. Hello. Your house is mine. I'm just going people's houses. I've been looking for the bubble frog guy. And I was like really, really confused about where the hell he was. So he's like somewhere around here. Somewhere. Hello. Oh, hello. Thank you for the apples. It's thundering. Oh, hello. Here you are. I hope he's okay. You there, traveler. Do you have business in this cave by any chance? I'm sorry to say, but right now it's... Big Brother! Hello. It's no use. Colton. Please, it's impossible, absurd even, to try and turn yourself into a legendary creature. A Satori, no less. Absurd. You should be working on the monster collection with me instead of chasing a silly dream like the... Yeah. You did better than me. I will never give up, Kilton. I've always wanted to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I do not care what it takes. All I need to do is get my fingers on a bubble gem. Then I'm sure to turn into a Satori. And the rumors were true. There's a creature in a cave called a bubble frog. And it glows just like a Satori. Grab, I didn't think it would be so high up on the wall. Or run about on nimbly bimbly like that. In that case, little brother, why not get someone to help you catch a bubble frog? Yes, yes, do you remember all that treasure you collected? You could offer that in trade. What am I gonna do? Hello. 
Traveler, if you don't mind, would you lend your ears to my little brother's plea? I feel Colton can't make his dream come true without some eh, assistance. If I'm going to make my dream come true, I must get my fingers on a bubble gem. Yeah, but the bubble frog is so nimbly, bimbly, and hard to catch. What is your dream? You want to hear about my dream? Well, it's simple, really. I dream of becoming a Satori. You know, the creature of myth. Satori are legendary creatures that have been spotted all over Hyrule. Piercing eyes, bluish white fur. Oh, how I've admired them since I was a wee Colton. And then I read these ancient texts and they told me how to transform myself. Transform me, Colton, into a Satori. For it to work, I must find a bubble frog, a strange creature that loves dark caves and glows a bluish white like a Satori. Then I have to collect a bubble gem, which is a bubble that bubble frogs drop when they're feeling weak. That's why I chased after the bubble frog lurking in the cave. I wanted to get my fingers on that gem. But who knew a bubble frog could gamble a bowl like that? So nimbly bimbly. Yeah! <laughs> I want to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I'll do whatever it takes. Boah, I'm sorry. But that is my wish and my dream and my reason for doing such doings. So if you get a hold of a bubble gem, please give it to me. I'll give you a treasure and trade, I swear. Here, take this. <laughs> That's a bubble gem. Colton, is it the real thing? That perfect shape and the faint blue glow. It's a real bubble gem. Reals can be. You did it! Now I can transform into a Satori just like the ones I adore. Thank you so very much. Please take this gifty in return. The Coblin Mask. See, I collect all sorts of monstrous treasures, that is, monster parts and goods that make you look like a monster. The mask I gave you is made to look just like a bacoblin, so it was much so that even a bacoblin would take you for one. By all means, do try it on. Then you will see what it's like to have the body and the heart of a bacoblin. At last, at last, the time has come. Time to gobble down the bubble gem. Cheers and bottoms up. Oh. Gua, my body, it isn't changing, but, but, I do feel a strange sensation washing over me. It can only mean one thing. I am on my way to becoming a Satori, and that means more. I need more of them. And I can't just gobble them up one at a time. No, that'll never work. I must collect lots and lots and eat them all at once. And to do that... Kilton, big brother, I have decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. I see. Well, it seems you made up your mind. That being the case, you have my complete support. I hope you collect as many bubble gems as you need. Big brother, thank you! Thank you! Traveler, I'm grateful for your help, but I have decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. Next time you get your fingers on a bubble gem, please, please do give it to me. If you do, I'll trade you a gifty for my collection of treasures for it. And with that, I hope we meet again sometime, somewhere. Okay, that's a side adventure that's already fully completed. Um, did, where, you, where are you going? Oh, off he goes. I do hope he's able to make his dream come true. Now, I have to be on my way as well. I'll be making the journey to Terrytown and Akala. But dear traveler, thank you so much for helping my little brother. And though I hate to impose, I do hope that during your travels you'll find time to assist him further. I'll keep my ears wide open for the news of my brother's whereabouts, so visit me in Terrytown if you need help finding him. Yes, yes, I'll be going now. Okay, so if we need to do- okay. Uh, fuck, fuck, where's the cave, where's the cave, where's the cave? Uh, let me be immune to lightning real quick. Thunderhelm. Okay. I'm no longer in danger. Pico Pond Cave, where we're gonna grab a bubble gem over here, because that will be helpful. Hello. Hello. 
gems. Now we're back to 40. Let me use... Oh, we still have the this one. We still have the this one. Truer words have never been spoken. <laughs> Fireproof lizard. King gizzard and the lizard wizard. So... I guess I want to grab more information. I'll have to go to Terrytown, but I'm going to go to Korok Forest real quickly because I want to upgrade my inventory slots. <laughs> I wonder if Hestu is still look at landing or if he just hangs out here now. Hello. Weapon stash. Uh, how much is thirty-five? Uh, bow. It's funny that bow's green for courage. Uh, how much is shield? Good. Thank you. I'm all out of Korok seeds again. Silent princesses go burr. Um, I'm gonna go sleep in game and then we'll continue this in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Choose the Kingdom. Thanks so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you take care of yourself. Get enough food, get enough water, get enough rest. And just be kind to yourself in general because you deserve it. Also, tell someone you love them because you may not know how to sing it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.